Hello, in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to take a font and thicken it up a little bit so that if there is a font that you absolutely love, but you find that if you cut that out with vinyl, it might not necessarily go so great. Um, I'm going to show you how you can thicken it up a little bit here in Adobe Illustrator. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to go over here to your text tool and we're going to write out the word that we want to use. So for this example, I'm going to use the word Mary and I'm just using that word because a lot of times pe um, people like to put these words on ornaments and stuff and they might be a little bit too skinny. And so um, I'm going to show you how to make it just a little bit thicker now so I have my word here and I'm going to actually make a copy of this word so that we can kind of do a comparison before and after just like we did up here so um let me just make a copy I'm gonna hold down the alt key over and if you'll notice it gets a little white arrow on there too and then I can click and now it's just duplicates it over here so what I'm gonna do is once I have the word typed out the way that I want I need to change this from a font into um, what's called an outline um, it, here in Adobe Illustrator so that I can manipulate it so I'm gonna go right up here to type I'm going to click on create outlines and when I do that I can no longer change the font but now I can manipulate it as a graphic so let me make this one a little bit larger so that they, we are comparing apples to apples here next to each other okay here we go so what we're going to do is now once we have created outlines there's no need to ungroup the font and what we're going to do is we're going to go right up here to object path offset path and when we do that um, it's going to give us an option here to be able to preview what that offset looks like so if it's 0 0.02 you can kind of see it's already getting a little bit thicker let me do a point 07 to really show you the difference now this one's going to be too thick because it'll make the m and the e connected as one letter and we don't want that um, but you can um, just uncheck the preview button and then recheck it whenever you change this number here and that will show you the different levels um, of what offset it is that you're making okay so I'm gonna use 0 0.02 and I'm gonna click OK and now you can see that it's the same exact font it's just a lot bolder but if I click on Control Y so that I can see my cut lines I now have two lines here to cut instead of one and on my cutting machine I obviously don't want that so what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight both the offset that I just created and the original font and I'm going to go over here to my pathfinder tool and if that window is not up you can click on window pathfinder right over in your window um, navigation menu bar and then um, in the Pathfinder, you're going to click on the Unite option. And when you do that, those two different groups now become one. So if I go back to my Control Y and I check, I now have just one skinny line that I can cut on that entire font. And so I have the same font style, it's just now a little bit thicker over here on my design. So super simple to be able to take a font that you love but might be a little bit too skinny for your project and fatten it up a little bit so that it really adheres well with vinyl. Um, thanks so much for tuning in and I'll see you back on the next tutorial. Bye!